This is a great movie. You're not going to regret it. Let's talk about the animated movies, huh? Six bags of popcorn, two sodas. What's out at the box office? What's making the most money? We're going to talk about all that in financial news as well. We got more money than we could ever dream of! It's on cinema at the cinema, season 11, with your host, me, Tim Heide. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. I am your host, the CEO of Hi Incorporated. And I am joined, uh, we have a, a different guest today. Uh, I'm joined by the, the acting CFO of Hi is uh, Tony Newman, who's with me today. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, Greg Turkington is on assignment. I believe uh -huh. he's going to be sending us a uh, field package that we may or may not play, depending on time. Uh, so, before we get into the movies, Tony, I wanted to check in with you. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people out there are curious about the state of the uh, company. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we had big breaking news last week where we released the new uh, Dakar single mm -hmm. with uh, LaRue featuring some rap, so that was exciting, and I think that should, yeah. we should see some movement. I think people sort of they bubble up. But you have now spent the past few weeks mm -hmm. Uh, investigating, kind of, the, almost should be LaRue's job investigating, but you've been sort of, you know, doing a forensic dive into the, the financials mm -hmm, of the company. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously Joe Estevez uh, left you a little bit of a mess. But, um, you know, I want you to be honest because I think there's a lot of people out there who care about the future of this company and okay. hopefully one day we'll be able to have, invite you in as investors, we'll go public and all that stuff. That's what we're we're aiming for as part of that five-year plan, mm -hmm. but we have not really spoken about this. No, we have so not. So I, I want you to be, you know, direct with me. Where are we at? I mean, where's, how's our, how's my concept of growth mm -hmm. looking, and where are we at? Well, Tim, um, I do need to be honest with you, and I'm assuming our viewers, so everybody is aware of where the company is. Mm -hmm. um, you are correct. Joe Estevez was not on top of the finances of this company. Yeah, I wanted that to work, and it just, you know, I was, you know, I got such a big heart for him. And, yes. And, but uh, maybe he'd be suited for mm -hmm. some other, like, media relations or public relations or something, but just the financials, the sort of the accounting, the nuts and bolts is just not his. Well, um, I don't have really positive news at this point. Um, you purchased this from the Delgados, Correct. and unfortunately, um, they had a lot of debt mm -hmm. when you bought their company. And now that debt has been transferred over to you. And I'm Well, that's that I mean I should have the documents here. Well, we the documents the... Uh, probably were not looked at carefully because once you buy a company, mm -hmm. all the debt is transferred to the new owner. Not in the not in California. Well, apparently it is. Um, their debt is what now is they can't just transfer over debt that they accrued throughout however many you know they only had the company for a few years so I'm not well, sure how that Well I, I believe plays there, out. there was some fine print in mm -hmm. here that you might have missed had I had an opportunity to look at this I might have been able to save you a lot of headache on all okay. of this um, Tim do you know a man named Rafael Torres uh, Yes, uh, he was the my usurper uh, mm -hmm. in the on cinema Oscar special. He, mm -hmm. We call him uh, Daffy Raffy. Daffy Raffy. Like Daffy Duck or whatever. Uh -huh. He was uh, a big time bad loser guy who just tried to be the host of the show and uh, failed miserably. He was brought on by the Delgados and you know I I came in and you know usurped. Uh, he usurped the throne and in, in, a, in a way I came back and usurped it back. So here's what we're looking at. Rafael Torres had started a lawsuit against the Delgados. Okay, well, yeah. Right. All right. But once you bought the company, Tim, I really wish you would have asked me about this. I would have helped you with this. Okay, well. So I he mean, is now. The good news is he wasn't suing me because there could no. be a claim on that because of, I used mace or pepper spray on him. Yeah, well. Which I had to for self-defense. He was going to sue you, Tim. But you didn't have any money. But now that you've acquired this company, everything has been transferred to you. So All the ownership the of the ownership, company. The ownership, the debt, uh, and being sued. No, that doesn't, that can't transfer over. That's a suit between 
him and the well, Delgados. Well, you bought the company. The lawsuit is now against you because you are the rightful owner of the company. I mean, in a way, but I don't know about technically because if that they sued them, why would I have anything to do with that? I mean, first of all, this I can't believe I'm hearing Daffy Laffy, or whatever it is. The first time I'm hearing his name in almost a year, this rat, that lawsuit's now in my lap. It is in your lap. It can't that be illegal. That has to be illegal. That well, can't here, be allowed you, in the state Tim, of California. Tim, you hired me to look at the books. I know, but I'm challenging you to it because okay. I have to put push back on that because there's no way that would hold up. If well, she's, you know what I mean? If, if what you're saying doesn't make any sense, but go ahead. Well, what we're going to have to do most likely is we're going to have to hire an attorney and we're going to have to sue them now because you signed the I mean, paperwork. That's, e that's an easy one because you know there's evidence. That proves my self-defense, and it, you know, the, obviously, the cops were there. They saw everything. I think we just throw that one out. I mean, that one's well. It's not going to be that easy. Okay. He is claiming that you injured his eye when you sprayed him. Okay. He's lost a little bit of uh, uh, some of his eyesight. You know, so there is, we're there going is to have to deal with that a, right you now. Know, now um, that I'm going through the documents, you see, yes, there are things here that do uh -huh. mention the Rafael Torres lawsuit and the. Uh, and I'm uh, so sorry to have to tell you this. I, like I said, I didn't discover it. I just happened to give no, you the. No, I understand. You're coming in late I'm on. I'm coming in new, and um, so we have another problem. Oh my God. This is another really bad error. Um, okay, have you ever heard of a company named Money Zap? It's MoneyZap.com. Yeah. Right. You took a loan out from them. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, we took a loan out. A uh, twenty-five thousand dollar loan. That was sort of the saving grace of this whole thing, was that Money Zap provided the, the initial capital, the yeah. liquid funds, so I could get the company back. That was a big, you know. But there is a little bit of an issue with that, too. Um, and the beautiful thing about it was that, you know, it's a 0% interest rate when, when we agreed to it, and, uh, and that's inc incredibly generous and also has taken some of the the weight off of the books, you know. Sort well, of Tim, the um, that's the other thing. We need to talk about that interest rate. Uh, I looked through the documents. Uh, apparently, you did this online mm -hmm. without ha anyone reviewing it or mm -hmm. having I an reviewed attorney it. I, yeah, present. I, I, um, well, I'm an attorney, so. Well, did you read the paperwork? When I, you well, there's all, all online, that? so it was one of those read and accept, you know, scroll down, mm -hmm. it goes pop down to the bottom, accept. Yes, but Tim, you had 30 days. Free interest. You did, in fact, have that, but and some. However well, long it takes to pay for the loan, that's where unfortunately your... there is a time limit. It okay. was 30 days. Okay. After the 30 days, you started to accrue interest, mm -hmm. and it's very, very, very high. Okay. 300 percent. Um, on twenty on twenty-five thousand dollars. So every payment you make. This is good to know because I was really, you know, we were close to looking at, you know, getting another. Uh, Money Zap loan just to keep things. We're going, going. to have to. Uh, did you sign all the paperwork? Um, I just clicked yes, yes, yes. You know, I just get the money. So and, they did. Uh, you never met with them in person. No, it was all online. It was very easy. Well, um, right now you are in massive debt. Okay. So you've got three issues here. You bought a company that was in debt that was being sued. Uh -huh. You took on the debt. You took on the suit. Mm -hmm. So now you're in debt, you're being sued. Mm -hmm. Well, the company, not me. Which puts us in crisis. Mm -hmm. We're going to lose a company. Well. And now you're going to owe this guy so much money in interest. So we, we have to come up with a plan. Mm -hmm. Do you have any suggestions on that? I, you know, well, I mean, hopefully the, the DKR. Uh, Do you have any stocks you can sell? Well, or? yeah, the board is you know, considering that. I think, as you say. Yes, we'll have and to have a, a. Their problem there is you got people like Axe and Manuel. That, I mean, I'd love to sell them stocks. They just don't have any money to buy them, you know. So we're a little. That's the sort of catch twenty two of the whole thing. I mean, it's know? much of a nice person Joe Estevez is. Mm -hmm. Perhaps there's some liability there. Mm -hmm. You're saying because he was so uh, careless that there is some. There might negligence be some, there. There might be some liability. Yeah. I, I, that's what I believe. And again, not being an attorney, right. but looking at the financial records, there was foul play on everybody's part. Yeah. And they pulled the wool over your eyes. I and agree. as a result, yeah. I mean, you're just such well, a also, trusting person. I mean, you got to look at Money Zap and wonder where their humanity is when they're coming at me with the, apparently what you're saying is a, a tremendous interest rates, which is completely illegal. And, uh, well, you know, that's shocking to me that they're still yes. able to do it, and I think we should expose that. 
uh, through the uh, you know through the exposed series. If yeah, we, need to. we might I don't have to go that route. We take we're going to have to take everybody to court mm -hmm. at this point. Because Absolutely. Uh, Delgado pulled the wool over your eyes. He well, did not. He did not disclose that he was being sued by Rafael Torres. That in as and we, of far itself. As we, I mean, there is mention of it. You know that is included, but it, that should have almost been up to. You know, should yes. have brought up higher. It should have been brought to our attention yeah. or to your attention at the time. Yeah. So right now, as yeah. CFO of this company, I feel the responsibility to find a solution. We need to turn this around. We we want to save the company. Isn't that what we want to do? Save the company. So we're going to have to, we'll look into selling some stocks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We could hire an attorney. Yeah, we'll Unless have to. If you want to yeah. handle this pro bono for yourself, I mean, I would like to take a look at the online uh, profile, yeah. if I may. And then perhaps we can find a loophole there. That might be helpful. Yeah. So we're going to have to figure out how to get ourselves out of this. Yep. yep. Okay. All right. Uh, any suggestions? Uh, well, any? we'll talk about it later. We're going to have to. i got to do the movies. Uh, okay. Um, so sorry no, to I put just, this on you. No, it's a lot. And, yeah. You know, I we should have done this off the can offline or uh, privately. Well, maybe we can edit it later. Charlie's Angels, directed by Elizabeth Banks. Mm-hmm. Which we saw uh, together, together last night. Yeah. And, uh, Elizabeth Banks, Naomi Scott, Kristen Stewart, yeah. Patrick Stewart, to uh -huh. Kristen Stewart's son, or somebody related to each other. Mm -hmm. This is a this is a cute movie. We liked it. Yeah. We had a lot of fun uh, watching that. And mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it had a lot of drama or a lot of action. Kind of took your mind off things a little bit. Uh, and uh, of course, based on the TV show. And uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's, uh, we'll give it, uh, I'll give it five bags of popcorn. Um, and how about mm. you? I mean, it was entertaining for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's roll the Greg thing because I, I got to get out of here. We have a lot of work to do. to release all these now and so we're you trying do. to yeah Victorville. so these six titles um, we've licensed out now and now we produce these tapes for sale to how many um, people still buy videotapes most I mean most movie buffs still oh movie buy buffs yeah, yeah. yeah don't you can't get these titles on DVD okay well, well here. sometimes you can see them on TV but this way you can watch them whenever you want. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. We used to have videotapes as well. Abraham Lincoln uh, from D.W. Griffith is the next title to be released. Right now there's six so far. And um, hopefully by the end of this, uh, we'll have hundreds. And we also do consulting to help people build their own film library. Yeah. Sort of giving you information where you can get these tapes and recommending the tapes that would be most suitable for your schedule or for your interests. And then we have a coding system too, so that when you do have the collection built up that you can access the tapes more easily. I get it. Titles coming soon. Hundreds more titles coming soon to the VFA.